The war is more than 6,000 miles away from us, but it hits very close to home for that family from Melbourne. They're desperately trying to get their 20-year-old daughter out of Israel. Good evening. Welcome. I'm John Brown. And I'm Arlisa Goldsmith. So far, 11 Americans were reported dead as a result of the war with Hamas. Fox 35's uh, Marley Capper joins us live in the studio tonight. Marley, this just has to be terrifying for the family. It is. It's one thing to watch the videos of the war on social media or the news, but it's another thing to know that your child is right there in the thick of it. That's how one Central Florida family is feeling, scared and panicking. They're going to feel that way until she's safe and is home. I zoom with their daughter from Israel. It was another normal day setting abroad for Serena Videla. She was enjoying Shabbat and a holiday. You're not really meant to use your phone or look at technology. But her friend's phone kept going off. It was an app that tells civilians when there are bombs. We had just looked on the red alert app and there was dots like everywhere. You can't even see the map of Israel. The red dots represent where a rocket or missile has gone off. We're like, this is not real. Is this real? We look up on the news and it's like 22 dead. And there's Hamas is like declared a war. Soon after, she heard this. We heard like a jet and then we heard like a, like a boom and we all run into the bomb shelter here's the bomb shelter window and it has <laughs> a metal reinforcement she and her friends had to sleep there should we sleep in shifts should i sleep with my shoes on meanwhile her parents were sleeping safe and sound in florida i had no idea where she was for hours her mother avery was woken up by her mom asking if serena was okay it was terrible i was crying yeah, it was painful. She had no idea what was happening until they turned on the news. Oh, my daughter's in a war zone. Last night we went to bed. She wasn't in a war zone. Right. Serena is about 45 minutes away from all the violence, but she still feels unsafe. It's like really scary um, to me, the idea of traveling right now. Now her parents are doing everything they can to get her out. I just need right. this week to go by so I know she's on soil that I can trust. Avery said it was difficult booking a flight with not many planes leaving the country and seats filling up fast. They just hope their daughter gets home safe. Reporting live in studio, Marley Capper, Fox 35 News.